fruit it was new to me. Faith, the spirit of our faith is we believe, therefore speak. speak. Mm -hmm. Faith is a confession for it's within. Yes. I confess to myself in my heart yes. that I believe God. Yes. See, a lot of us confessing without that our condition within. Yes. And there's a spiritual disconnect. Yes. Because you're doubting God, but you're confessing faith. Help me. Come on. Come on, Come on now. now. See, Come on. This has nothing to do with you being good or bad, being single or married, being gay or straight, being whatever. It has nothing to do with that. Preach. Preach. Are you hear what I'm saying? This has to do with you understanding that God made you a promise and he wants you to live by faith and faith for the first thing about faith is sharing what he promised you and how do you know what he promised you? Can I teach y'all? You go to what is written in the record. How do you know it's written in the record? You go to the witness who told you from the record. So now when the Holy Ghost says it, you know it's in the record for you and God said, now I need your faith. Amen. Yes. Amen. I don't need you to be better or be get good. Come on, sir. I need you to believe. Hallelujah. I need you to get a confession in your heart, a conviction in your heart, that if I said it, I'm able to do it. Hallelujah. For those who come to God must believe that He is, and that is the reward of them who diligently yes. seek Him. Yes. And most of the church don't believe what I'm saying now, Heaven. Y'all walk with me. Please walk with me, General. This is going to change your life. <clears throat> you have to develop a confession within yourself first. Yes. The woman with the issue of blood, she said to herself, no, Shango. Yes. Jesus on the earth. I have a conviction that he's a healer. Yes. And if I can be touch, that was a condition in her. Yep. She didn't need no prayer meeting. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Boy, I'm preaching good. So after I have this conviction within me, now I have to find out with a confession of my mouth. What's this confession? Is it a witness of God? Before heaven, before the spirit, before life, that I believe. Okay, let me give you something simple. With the heart, man, believe it in the righteousness, the conviction, and with the mouth, with the mouth, confession made the salvation. There must be a belief in your promise first. And what is this belief? I'm not negotiating this. Oh God, baby, pray for me. I feel the Holy Spirit. I feel the Spirit of God on my life right now. Right? I feel the Holy Ghost here. Right? I feel, oh, glory. I feel the love of God. Hovering around here. And what we need to understand, y'all, in this kingdom, it's all about grace. Our covenant is called grace. Grace is God's influence. It's His ministry, not yours. Man, give me, let's talk for five minutes. Can we talk? Grace is God's ministry, not yours, not your dance. Uh, yes. Not your preaching gift. Yes. Not your long dress. Speak. Not your speaking in tongues. None of that. Thank you. Lord. None of it. Somebody gotta do this, y'all. Come on. And I hope y'all walk with me. Grace is God's ministry. Yes. And the scripture I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you. The Bible said, listen. This nigga man of God that you believe in the name of his son and love the brethren. Yes. And the name of his son means the name word means it don't mean surname, it means his title, his position, his authority. And if I believe in that authority, then I'm accepting this grace package. Thank you. And here's what I want to tell you though. I'm preaching good in it. Yes. In grace, God does everything. Yes. He just needs your availability. Yes. And God's an expert. Of using the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Yes, he is. It's some of y'all in this ministry, y'all are challenging me too. But every time I go before God, no, honestly, I'm telling you, every time I want to pull you back. Stand with me. Y'all keep me lifted up. <laughs> every time I want to pull you back, God asks me the question what about my grace? Wow, thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I have all kinds of things that religion has told me, you know. Yes, yes. This shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. This shouldn't happen. They shouldn't do this. But what about grace? What about the power of Christ? Yes. Oh, God, I got to be for that. Paul says, I would rather glory in my infirmity. 
that the power of Christ might rest upon me. Can I, can I confess to you all? I'm living my life today up here with the power of Christ resting on me. The enemy can't get me through humanity anymore. I know it seems to most people that I don't care. I do care. I just don't care for foolishness. Amen. Amen. And I'm just going to not be moved every time somebody do something stupid. Amen. No. Amen. When I do things that you may not consider Christian, and I do want to live the cleanest life I can. I'm, sometimes it's a struggle. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. I know some of you all got it down. I'm going to keep me lifted up. Amen. Sometimes I, Amen. So, so, but here's the deal though. I'm living under the power of his resurrection. Yes. What does that mean, Izzy? <laughs> I am faultless. See, are you all ready for this? Yes. Do I have some people who are ready to go where this ministry is going? Yes. Do I have the people who are ready to pave the way for those who are coming? Yes. The power of his resurrection made this, Sandra. Your guilt is your own fault. Amen. Your guilt is your own fault. Your guilt is because you don't believe. Because if you believe what God said about you, and you, if you believe the witness of the Holy Spirit, you won't be guilty no matter what you find yourself in. Neither would you be discouraged. Can I tell you something else? I get by discouragement as a spirit. Yes. Wow. And the enemy is going to use it to try to get you out of place. Yes. When you feel discouraged, that's never you. Because there is no discouragement of faith. Now, nobody deals with discouragement more than I do, I don't think. But today I know it's a spirit heaven. Yes. I'm not going to speak on behalf of discouragement today. I'm not going to act on behalf of discouragement today because I'm living with the power of Christ yes. resting on me, which means that I'm totally accepted by God. I have peace with God. All righteousness have been fulfilled concerning my life. I'm already qualified for the inheritance. Why? Because Jesus got up. Yeah, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So now there's therefore no condemnation to me because Jesus got up. So when I'm walking in the power of his resurrection, yes, I'm going to work on myself. Yes, I want to live the best life possible. But I have an advocate when I don't. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. And I don't have to be guilty just because you don't like what I did. Let me get back to faith. I, 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 I'm going to be done here. Are we here? Let's just talk. Are you all catching what I'm saying? I, I don't want to go to church, y'all. I don't want to do the performance. I want you to leave here with something in your heart. Yes, with a conviction of something that you heard that you're going to go apply when you leave at this door. Amen. I want you to leave here knowing that you're up under the grace of God and the power of Christ is on you. But if you don't live like that, that's your fault. Thank you, Lord. Some of you all right now, some people in this church, you come and hear this word, you go somebody tell you something and you walk away because it's too much truth for you. Can I testify? This week when that I got before God, I began to cry. And I said to him, this is just too much for a man to do. This message is too challenging. Because the more I try to back up, the more he pushed me into it. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. So it is my assignment and yours, wonder to receive that you're living with the power of Jesus Christ. What is that power? You fought less. He presented you fought less. He presented you holy. He presented you righteous. Unblameable, unreprovable. Let me ask some of you all believe that. Yes. So if you really believe that, why every time the devil chastises you, you go into condemnation? Is it getting too cold? Yeah. Okay. Cut one of them off, please. Cut one off for this. Because they're getting cold. I don't want them to miss this message. As we grow and grow and grow, if God gives us a platform where I can sit and talk to you, 